My workshop's situated in Nettlecombe, um, which is about five miles out of Bridport in the southwest of England. I had done a degree in 3D design and then I had a job in design in London for a short period and I just thought it wasn't what I wanted to be doing, sat behind a computer every day. So I came home to Dorset and started working for a joiners. That was what I was doing, it wasn't like I had chosen to be a furniture maker and started working at the joiners. In the evenings I just made furniture for myself and then I came to the realisation that furniture was a good medium to fulfil my design side and my making side. I was quite independent thinking and I think that was why I started working on my own ideas. There's a lot of different stages to my work. I like the customer involvement, the, the given of a job, so the specification to design something. I also like the playing with the materials in order to produce something. So at the beginning with the client relationship you've got to play and I play in the workshop, it's not just on my sketch pad or on my computer, it's about playing with the material. And I also then like all the way to fruition of the piece. So then the making starts. I love making with my hands, so with hand tools especially, but I also love the quickness of producing with machines. So it's an amalgamation of using everything to create something. The LSI building has been, they've been renovating it for quite a few years. I wondered what's going on inside um, and I was very lucky to be asked to design a bench and some coffee table stools so they're kind of for dual purpose use. This brief comes from trying to add colour to the space, warmth, playfulness but also a real function. It's also using British woods and just chemicals reacting with the tannin to produce the colours. But the stools, I've used um, ash, which is closest to my workshop as I could possibly get. So one minute to the woodland from my workshop. It's cut down by the same guy that planted the tree 35 years ago. And from tree to piece within two weeks. So they were turned and scorched and then left in here now to move and open up over time. So the inner beauty of the white is now coming out, which is part of it. So it's about timber being living. I suppose from the outside there seems to be one project after the other. In my head there's about 30 projects going at once, just from many different places. Being in the countryside allows my brain to be free and have time to realise my designs. I suppose it's its view that made me choose my workshop. Most days I'm used to it, so it's just I just turn up, but some days you have that realisation of, oh, it's still beautiful, oh yeah, I must remember that, I must remember to open my eyes and watch the seasons change. I suppose it's important because of that. When you're immersed completely in the countryside and you have a view over the, over the hills, you see that happen. But I'd also say my visits to different cities inspire me culturally to actually think about not just what's on my doorstep, there's a conscious effort not to lose what I've already made and, and to work harder at that to try and understand it more and just to keep working to always be involved with wood.